I'm meteorologist Mark Van Cuso, and on this day in weather history, September 10th, 1960, Hurricane Donna made landfall in the Florida Keys. The system formed off the African shore on August 29th. By the 30th, it became a tropical storm. Over the next week and a half, Donna moved northwest, gaining strength and briefly achieved Category 5 status as it passed the Leeward Islands. By the time it reached Florida, it was a Category 4 hurricane with estimated maximum sustained winds of 140 miles an hour with gusts up to 180 with a minimum central pressure of 930 millibars. It made landfall and decimated the community of Marathon in the Keys. The day after it hit, President Eisenhower declared it a disaster area. The hurricane then inundated Naples before wreaking havoc all the way up to Maine. It produced wind gusts of 121 miles per hour in Charleston, South Carolina, and 138 miles per hour at Blue Hill Observatory, Massachusetts. Overall, Donna caused extensive damage from the Lesser Antilles to New England. At least 364 people were killed, and over $900 million in damage was done, making it one of the top 10 costliest Atlantic hurricanes in U.S. history 50 years ago. I'm Mark Mancuso.